Hello, and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Today we have a special edition of Movies That Pop regarding Thailand. Oh, beautiful Thailand. Now, I'm going to confess to you, I, the Colonel, am currently planning a trip to Thailand for a few weeks. And as a big fan of movies, it occurs to me that according to most of the movies I've seen, Thailand is actually a pretty scary place to go if you only pay attention to movies. Now, most people know that Thailand itself has a pretty thriving film industry that's constantly growing and churning out good product. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the perception of Thailand from mainstream Hollywood films. And again, it's not flattering. In some cases, especially when you take into account real life events like the recent bombing of a touristy area in Bangkok, you might be downright terrified to go. So without further ado, here is my list of the top five movies not to see if you're planning a trip to Thailand. And yes, I have seen all of these films in the last few weeks because I am really an idiot sometimes. Let's get started. We begin with number five, The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and directed by Danny Boyle back in the year 2000. In the film, Leonardo DiCaprio stars as a young, immature tourist who's looking for, well, paradise. And he sort of finds it on a tucked away beach that nobody knows about, which is actually a real place, Maya Beach, on a remote island called Koh Phi Phi Lay in Thailand. Now, this film is low on the list because if you look at this trailer, the beach looks like a place you'd be dying to visit though. Beautiful blue waters, pristine white beaches, and hot French women that want to make love with you at night while you're surrounded by bioluminescent plankton. Man, that looks pretty awesome. When you watch the movie, however, you'll be turned off real quick. The first person you ever meet that has come from the island has been driven insane by it. His name, coincidentally, is Daffy. The island is also controlled by a bunch of bloodthirsty drug growers and those beautiful blue waters full of sharks. Sure, Leonardo DiCaprio survives the shark attack, but there are some poor peripheral characters that don't, and they stain those pristine white sands with their own blood, and then they're hauled out into the jungle to die after their screaming disrupts the group's tranquil, peaceful, beautiful environment. Oh, and did I mention that the island itself tends to make people a little loopy in the head? Because it does. Number four is The Hangover Part 2. Bangkok has them now. That was the tagline on the poster of this sequel to the 2008 smash hit. And once Bangkok has you, it doesn't give you back. Like the first Hangover movie, and I mean just like it, like someone took the script for The Hangover and just swapped out all the nouns for other nouns in an extremely profitable game of Mad Libs, this uninspired sequel managed to do the exact opposite for Bangkok as it did for Vegas. Whereas the first Hangover movie made letting it go in Vegas seem so glamorized and hyper fun. Woo, Vegas! No one who sees The Hangover Part 2 is going to say, Woo, Bangkok, baby, here I come! Holla, idiot squala! Instead of seeming fun, the wolf pack has a slog through Thailand that appears to be a grimy descent into hell and danger. These guys suffer mutilations, gunshots, beatings, power outages, riots, and an act that, uh, it could easily be defined as rape. I mean, Stu gets raped, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would. Sure, everything gets resolved in the end. Uh, no pun intended. But if you're basing your opinion of Bangkok on this movie, do you think Bangkok fun? No. <laughs> Bangkok Dangerous. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering why Bangkok Dangerous isn't on this list, this is a list of movies that you shouldn't watch if you're about to take a trip to Thailand. Bangkok Dangerous is a movie you shouldn't watch. You just shouldn't watch. Speaking of Bangkok Dangerous, 
Broke Down Palace from 1999 illustrates that leaving Bangkok can be just as dangerous as staying there, especially when a handsome stranger has placed two kilos of heroin in your carry-on bag. Once that happens, a corrupt government has you by the short and curlies, and they'll throw you into a dark, dank prison from which there's little hope of escape or sympathy or dignity for hair products. Starring future superstars Kate Beckinsale and Claire Danes, this movie is bleak and moody, but in that 90s music video kind of way. It also doesn't really play fair. The setup is ridiculously one-sided, and in the end, we don't really know for certain if these girls were complicit in the crimes they're being punished for. The story also ends on a really depressing note. Now, story flaws tend to be forgivable in movies like this one because you can always point to the fact that they were based on a true story and these things really did happen this way and what are you gonna do? But Broke Down Palace is not based on a true story. It's completely fictional. So they could have written any sort of ending that they wanted. The Thai legal system doesn't come off very well, and American tourists don't come off very well, and it's the last thing you want to have in your mind before you hop on a plane to Thailand, or go to any airport for that matter. One movie in which the Thai people and the white tourists that visit Thailand both come off very well, downright heroically well, but which is scary for other reasons, is 2011's The Impossible. The, in my opinion, The Impossible is the best movie on this show. A gripping tale of one family's survival, it takes place during the tsunami which devastated Thailand on Boxing Day 2004. Anchored by brilliant performances from Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts as a family separated from each other and relying on the help of the noble Thai people and their own courage during a time of unimaginable disaster, this film is riveting and inspiring. Any other time, I would tell you to watch it. But if you're planning a trip to Thailand, it will shake you. I look in all the hospitals and I look in all the shelters. I will find them, I promise you that. If you're already concerned about the possibility of attack from terrorists, sharks, crime, STDs, and corrupt police and legal systems, the last thing you want to be reminded of is the fact that you could potentially be attacked by the very Earth itself. And last but not least on our list, number one, No Escape, which came out this week. Here is the movie, while not explicitly set in Thailand, the actual country is not stated for obvious reasons. It was shot in Chiang Mai province in Thailand. All of the writing on all of the walls is in Thai. All of the natives speak Thai. So it's Thailand. Why can't they say it's Thailand? Well, probably because in this movie the unnamed country falls prey to a military coup and the occupying force takes complete control of the entire city massacres everyone in the U.S. Embassy, sets it on fire, and then hunts day and night for Americans. Just Americans. And they want them all. If you are an American, they are frothing at the mouth to find you and shoot you in the head. If they don't happen to have a gun at the time, or they just want to save ammo, don't worry, they'll just line you up in the street and run you over with a car. Or they'll hack you to pieces with machetes. So, you know, Book that flight now, huh? If you watch the Travel Channel, you'll hear that Thailand is a beautiful country with stunning natural wonders, rich culture, and delicious cuisine. So why does Hollywood want to make it so scary? I don't know! But I do know that you can't believe everything you see in movies. I've seen all of these movies in the past few weeks, and I'm still not scared. Hashtag not afraid. That does it for this special edition of Movies That Pop. I'm gonna go pack, and until next time, Hen Kun Ti Nang. Yeah.